Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Homie Talk podcast. My name is JC the Caster, and as always, I'm joined here with Raccoon Eggs. Hello. How goes it? Oh, it's it's going good, dude. It's it's definitely going long. You know, it's just life is moving it's along. Gone bro. long. Gone yeah. long. That sounds an awful lot like us, JC. We haven't recorded one of these in like a month. It's been three weeks, dude. It's not even that long. You know, it's not even that bad. I would I would rather just get one out like every two weeks. That's optimal. You know, it's not my fault though. You know, it's all your fault. Yeah. Explain. Oh well. Explain. Who cares? I care. Well, people. Let's talk about this. No, I don't no, think people I'm care mad. that much I'm because boiling. the thing is, if people listen to this years in the future, they're not going to know or they're not going to care about a gap as minimal as one month in the grand scheme of the years and years of history surrounding it. You see what I mean? I have a lot I want to talk to you about today. I have my mind is whirling. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. And with that, you can start. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I guess uh, I can start by saying uh, why it. I has just want to talk about relationships such a long time. For, okay, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I, Do you? This okay. We're doing a thing here, so you know, I talk and then you talk. All right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Was, okay. So I. Okay. I, I was just gonna say really quickly the reason that it's been so long since we did TikTok, a podcast. You're going a little too fast. What do you mean TikTok? TikTok. The the clock is ticking, my boy. There's no time limit, dude. We have to hit the monthly quota of five hours. Get ready to buckle in for four hours. Who the fuck said that? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think our manager said anything about five hours. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll text him. Anyway, you you talk, yeah. Oh, look at my coins. My coin. (laughs) You hear that? That's my coins. Yeah, it has been like a month (laughs) since we recorded one of these, and that's just because uh, we want to be in like our best frame of mind when we record these, because obviously... You come here expecting us to have, you know, somewhat of a, a decent, insightful conversation. conversation. Yeah. Part of that comes with, you know, being in the right headspace to be able to maintain that kind of a conversation. Um, I have been in the middle of a lot of bad luck, and uh, JC has been dealing with college and, uh, and uh, IRL shit stuff, as well. Yeah. So basically, we're both like life have fucked been us with over big time. Not that's you know? big. No, time. I wouldn't. I wouldn't we go can't that even far. Move anymore. Not. No, not big time. I wouldn't go that far because there's a lot of people that have it a lot worse than us. We should be grateful for what we, we have. We can still buy blessings. grapes. Yeah. We, we can still buy grapes. Yeah. There's a lot of people that can't buy grapes. So that we at least true. have that over the rest of the world. Amen. And um, Hallelujah. I have my lighter out just swinging it back and forth. I'm sure you do. I don't put that past you, even though I would have no fucking way of seeing it. But anyways, you, okay. We, okay. We're finally, we finally have some free time. To record, so well we had free know if, time, kinda. It's just well, not not you. It's just that we were not in the right headspace, really. Yeah, we tried to record this before, and I just went off about we were angry w- about my life for half an hour, and then I I listened back to it, and I was like, yeah, people might care about this for like two minutes, but we talked about it too much. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a lot, so I can like try to sum it up because it is actually quite interesting. So. Currently, right now, I am recording this podcast from my dad's house. I'm in his basement. And the thing is, right... <laughs> okay, that that's TMI, maybe. He is on vacation. <laughs> so I I have the entire... <laughs> Prepares drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my my chest bro my chest 25 25 <laughs> okay take a tea break take a tea break get the laughs out where's the thesis <laughs> what did you knock over <laughs> my, my entire desk <laughs> can you get your shit together please <laughs> i don't have to use the bathroom i Okay. Water, water. So, wait, wait, wait. I want to yeah. put a pin in this for a second. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I was going to say, just, I was just going to follow it up with, yeah. So Rex House blew up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what? Oh, man. No, I, I actually hate that. Where's the tea, sis? Fuck it. That's so dumb. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're not talking about that. Can I fucking get back to what I was saying? 
<laughs> okay, I'll mute up. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I am. <laughs> we're we're cutting some of this out. This is ridiculous. No, 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 no. Listen, all right. So currently, I am recording this podcast from my dad's basement. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. Okay, it's, it's just the truth. It's just the fucking truth. Listen, okay? So, he was gracious enough to let me stay here while he's on vacation. And, um, while I'm here, you know, I'm trying to get some work done while I have the entire place to myself. <laughs> and, um, the reason that I'm here <laughs> and not at my house is because I had to evacuate. Be I'll, s I'll start over. <clears throat> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I really need a mute, I can't stop- It's okay. No, I understand. I'm having a hard time keeping a straight face. Um, so, the reason I'm here is because I had to evacuate my house because it's like overwhelmed with the smell of mold, and also, on top of that, I found out that there was a fire there in 2011, and the landlord never properly cleaned up after it, and I went on like- like satellite view on Google Maps, and I changed the date back to 2011, and the whole roof was destroyed and covered in tarps and shit. And he, he never disclosed to me there was a fire here, and and I heard that from my neighbor. So I, I saw him, and we talked about my house, and that came up somehow, and, and kind of, it was kind of like the key piece in the puzzle, because it made everything make a lot more sense. Like, the reason that it's so fucking impossible to breathe in my house is because there's toxic shit from a fire that was never cleaned up. And probably the mold is from the firemen hosing it down and the water seeping into every crevice of the floorboards that were built in the 1940s. So that's why. And I had to move out. And now I'm here. And um, I'm waiting for... Uh, I have a new place that I'm moving to on June 1st. Until then, I'm staying with my dad. So, um, yeah. June 1st. Look out for that. That'll be the day that um, hopefully uploads are more regular. And hopefully podcasts as well. Yo... That'd be great. That I think would be I've, great. I think I've calmed down a little bit. Okay. I started laughing at my wall. Deep breath. For for the you I'm I'm very your loony wall? right now. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, just needed a, a deep breath. Breath of air. I mean, we did just get smoothie. done playing CS. Yeah. I do want to talk about something that's been bothering me a little bit. Because Okay. One second. Background noise. SOS on your side? Or me? It, there's a, a lot of noise in the background. Can you hear it? Nope. Well, I can hear it. And this thing picks up everything. So just give me like mm. two, one minute. Okay. We, we could have, uh, I want to talk about something. So I'll just start out with that again. Sorry about that. It's okay. Wait for the marching band to go past your house. In fact, I might have background noise too. I can't really. No, it doesn't look like I do actually. But I didn't actually check and like listen to see if there was any like fans going before I started recording. I shut off my fan, and I shut off the air conditioner, and it's hot as balls. I'm sweating. Oh, here. shit. Yeah. Just I bet so my because... PC probably has a fan going that's kind of loud. Here, I'm going to turn off my PC really quick. Wait. <laughs> huh? I wouldn't do that, bud. Are you using... Wait, you're, you're using your iPad to... Okay, never mind. We're good. I'm using my Nintendo DS. Dude. I lost my stylus, so I've just been using a dildo. <laughs> Thought you might like to know that. I didn't. Fuck, dude, why is this taking so long? Is the car just, like, going forward and backing up over and over in front of your no, house? No, they have the they have the engine on in the front of the house, oh. so you, you can oh. hear it in the background. Oh, they're, like, getting ready to take off? Yeah. The fuck? All right, I think they left. Wait. Where was I? Oh, yeah, okay. You wanted to talk about something. I do want to talk about something that's been on my something mind. Something that's been bothering you. Yeah. I, ah, uh, relationships, dude. Oh my god. Like, it, it just told the whole slew of what a relationship is. I'm not talking like mm. romance. Or maybe we can't talk about romance. I'm just saying that um, relationships with friends, family members, it's just, it's so annoying to upkeep, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, are you, you're not just talking about like a relationship to a significant other. You're talking about like keeping up with everybody more so? Yeah, kind of. Oh. I don't know. I guess like, it's just... You know, like, you know those moments where, like, you're, you're kind of a, like, uh, how do I put this? It's one of those moments in which you, you're kind of just in a moment of your life where you don't have, like, your best friends near you again. 
You know what I mean? Like everyone's yeah. doing their own thing. So you find people to talk to that you would consider friends, but they have their, their uh, huge flaws that make it hard for you to keep being their friend, right? But you, you're, you're stuck in a way that if you get out, then you won't have anyone to talk to. But if you stay with them, you're, you're very, you feel very incomplete or very, uh, you just feel kind of like a portion of you is being put into that. Something is missing. Yeah. It sounds like pretentious on the surface, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that's feel why that it's, way like, about... it's hard. It's hard to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to talk about because it, it comes off as pretentious. It comes off as like, you know. I'm too good for everybody else. But in reality, it's more like your friends are determined by proximity, not so much like you're cherry picking out of the entire population. It's just whatever, whoever you meet, the ones that you like more than others, you're going to stick around but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to meet like anybody the, the that true is friend. the yeah. true friend. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not necessarily going to meet people that have your best interests in mind. Mm -hmm. If you keep searching for perfection, you're not going to find, you know, you're going to let yourself down. You know what I mean? You're setting yourself up for failure. It's just the, the issue with, with all this is like, fuck, it's like stuck between a hammer and, and stone. You don't know what to do. I'd rather have a bunch of fake friends than no friends. That's what kind of my situation like going through more entertaining school. that way. Yeah. And, there, and there's ways to like combat like time loss, you know, I don't know. It's just annoying. I mean, that's not really talking about family per se at all. Actually upkeep with family as well. Like you're bound to them with blood. You know what I mean? You can't escape. And the moment that you turn your back on them, you know, you expect, expect that they're not going to help you out when you reach back out to them. You know what I mean? That's obvious. Yeah. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't be like, yeah, they're definitely going to help me out if you, you gave them the cold shoulder. That's not going to happen. That's just arrogant and pretentious, as we were stating before. It, I don't know. It's just uh, this whole thing. Relationships for me have been lately very intricate, you know? Like, it's hard to articulate what is going wrong with them. Um, but, like, I'm just not satisfied with, with the people that I'm around at times. You know, I'm like, hmm. this this just seems like a waste of time. I'm not having fun. Like, these these people don't give me, you know... It just doesn't feel like I'm talking with a friend. It feels like I'm passing time. You know what I mean? And that's a good indication to get out, skedaddle. But you don't want to be alone. It's weird. I can understand your struggle. Yeah, I've felt that way many a times. You'll get. It. I, I think I'll get through it though. What do you What do you feel that way about? Like IRL? Like you're not happy with your family? Like uh, sometimes with my family. Yeah, sometimes with my family. I wouldn't call it like a constant thing because the people that I live with. Because I'm 18, you know, I'm, I still live with my, my parents and stuff, uh, which I'm not very proud to say. I thought at 18 I would be out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I still live with my family that I've been living with since I was, you know, born. So I'm completely fine with them. Um, but we moved to a place where my, my mom's side of the family is, right? So, like, we're now surrounded by the family, if you will. Um, mm. And they're not bad per se you know i'm very again people have a way worse they're they're very they're sweet and they're nice just sometimes it's kind of like there's things i hear about them um and and especially the the talking behind other people's backs i'm not happy with that you know and nothing about me nothing about me but it's just something that i've, I've heard about before with some of my family members that i'm not happy about if you have something to say to someone just say it to their face you know what I mean? I understand oh, yeah. like that there's situational things where it's not, you know, you can't go up to them and say, hey, I think you're an idiot or I think you're this and that, especially if it's negative and you want to blow up some steam and you actually want to get some perspective into what you're saying and what you're doing. Uh, so you talk to another friend or relative, but like talking behind someone's back, like and like it's I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. And I mean, if it's like you fundamentally disagree with somebody, don't even fucking go through the trouble of like associating. Or if it's like part of your family, you know, why even waste the breath to talk shit about them when you could instead focus on the people that actually bring happiness into your life? Why focus on the people that just drag you down, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like that is, uh, you know, a source of, that is a source of pain for a lot of people is like focusing on the wrong things. Yeah. You keep your <clears throat> attention to something that, that really doesn't, you know, need it. You know, you get caught up in something yeah. that's negative. I don't know. It's just relationships sometimes. 
you know, it's just, it's hard to handle. It's like a game of chess sometimes, you know? You have to make the right move or else it'll all come crashing down. And then well, someone stole your queen and shit. It's I don't know if it's, I don't know if the stakes are that high with just it's, a friendship. It, dude, listen, I, I take everything very seriously, okay? Yeah. When I eat cereal okay. in the morning, you know, I have a knife in one hand. That's how serious I am, you know? Jesus. Yeah. I cut the bowl in half when I get angry. Like, I, I, I make sure... That everything that I put my effort into is 150%. You cut okay? the bowl in half? Okay. When so I was JC, pushing my son listen. on the swing set, I pushed him so hard he flew. <laughs> I understand your yeah. pain, okay? Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. If that's how you feel about your family and, uh, and IRL friends sometimes, how do you feel about like significant others? How do you feel about maintaining a relationship with a significant other, with a lover? I, it's been a long time since I, I would call... I actually had a, a significant other. Um, and even then, it was just like fucking around in high school and having just a good time with that. Um, yeah, because um, you want to know something that I actually didn't tell you before the podcast. Oh, is that um, I broke up with my girlfriend a few days you did? ago. Oh. Yeah, I did it. Jeez, man. How'd it go? Well, there's Good no. There's not really an easy way to break up with somebody. Um, yeah, but like, but did you my, take it well? Like, what, what was it? really ugly, you know, a lot of crying. She, you know, give me the no, details. not really a little bit of crying, but she took it well in the end. I think the longer you stay with somebody in a relationship, the more you come to realize whether or not you're going to be with that person for a long time. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think we'd been together for like six or seven months or something. And then it finally just came to the point where I was like, I can tell that it's kind of a similar feeling with what you were saying about friends about how it's you put up with them because you don't want to be lonely but there's something flimsy about it and I kind of felt that way about that relationship also and I decided to cut it off because I didn't want that to make me feel incomplete I didn't want that to, to like drag me down mm -hmm. I'm, I sure as hell had the ability to maintain it it was just not worth the effort to me I want it to feel like a friendship and not like a, like a second job or something, you know? If you ever have to doubt your relationship, then that might be a good sign. Well, well, I mean, sometimes. Usually it's a bad sign if you have to doubt your relationship, but sometimes it's like easygoing things. Sometimes, well, sometimes it can be paranoia, but I'm saying if it's like an intense like, gut feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. that, oh, yeah. yeah, like with the likes of what you're saying with friends, it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So, there, well, I don't um, think it could have gone better. I think it just... Is just the happened. way that it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, you you wanted to get out of it, so I'm not like, I'm not happy for you, but, you know, I'm sorry. It was hard. For her, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine, you know, breaking out with someone is not easy. Um, with, with whole relationships and such, I mean, if you're not happy, if you have to, you know, like this is 100%, if you have to double guess if you're happy where you stand in a relationship, you're probably going to have to, you know, look over what you are in this relationship. If you're happy altogether, because if, if you have to double guess that, then you're probably not happy. Um, yeah. some people just stick it out so they, they don't hurt the other person's feelings. You know, like that's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. So I, I, I mean, felt like I was starting to do that and I started to get kind of scared and I tried to do it as fast as possible after I realized that I was like, Oh shit. You know, I, I'm being I'm being more of an asshole by trying to be nice in this situation. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm just like I'm just trying to like think about exactly because when you when you said that, I, I was thinking more about like what defines a good relationship because we're talking about the negatives of like I uh, wasn't really feeling well about this or that's difficult to summarize in one sentence. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's very no. little, like, I feel like there's little things that you could just add on to make your, to make your relationship perfect. You, there's little things that you could just sprinkle in, you know what I mean? Obviously nothing's perfect, yeah. but a, a good like combination sprinkles? of, yeah, like sprinkles. Exactly. Rack. Um, the little things you can just put in there. A good combination, I think with a relationship is being very open-minded and uh, very honest. Okay. I think being open-minded, number one is I think one of the most important, you know, traits to have, you know, or, or works of, uh, of how you communicate and how you think with other people, regardless if it's a relationship or just a talk, a debate, a argument, yada, yada, yada. 
I think that's extremely important rather than being a team player, rather than being uh, any other trait that you can think of. I'm really thinking about teamwork right now for some reason. Um, but being open-minded in a relationship, you know, you can see a lot of things that are going right, uh, going right or wrong. And uh, with, with being honest, you could just be upfront about it. Not brutally honest. You don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but just a good combination of the positive ways to handle a relationship. You know, have you your have partner's best it. interests in mind. And so if you are going to bring up something like that, have it be in a constructive way. Like, mm -hmm. ha yeah, have their best interests in mind, which means not just bullshitting and being nice all the time, but also calling them out when you notice they're doing something that is like objectively not yeah. going to fucking help them out. You know, you know, be there to fill in what your partner does not have and hope that they are there to do the same for you. I think mm -hmm. that would be a good way to put a perfect relationship is that you complete each other's faults. Exactly. And that, in my opinion, is perfection. Because you're like a perfect puzzle piece clicking together like that. I don't know. I, I, I feel like you could definitely summarize a perfect relationship. I mean, it's hard. You know, it's not, it's not easy. I mean, if it was simple, everyone would do it. You know? But if you, if you continue on like that, that 10 step rule, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, these all lists of good things you could do in a relationship to better your, your connection with your partner. You'll be dandy. You'll be fine. You yeah. Know? So know. PSA, you know, if any of you are listening to this and you are, you are on the Break prowl, up. as they Break say, up. that's all I'm saying. No, it's not that's worth it. no, that it's is not, not the message we are trying to make. All. You're Listen, just going to lose if you're, all your money. If you're single you're and you're the on the prowl and you're okay. looking for a girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on just getting the pussy and get, well. Okay, no, no. Dude, okay, wait, wait. I want to talk. You can, about you this. can, you can do. You want to, you want to, you want to talk about getting pussy Thoughts versus getting a okay. relationship. Thoughts are okay. Do That's, not. Okay. Listen, there's no, nothing no, no, inherently no. wrong Thoughts with that. Are both okay. of you, if both of just you don't are okay fall in love with them, do not yeah, fall in love don't, with them. That's yeah. Okay. It. That's if you're gonna saying. fucking use up somebody that is like throwing themselves at you. Yeah, don't yeah. fucking start a relationship with them, obviously. Is it wrong? No, no, no. Is it wrong? For the, like, I'm thinking about this. Because in high school and in, like, early on in college, um, I'm a very, I'm a serious person when it comes to relationship. Like, in high school, I, like, I didn't like many of the girls, like, that were there. And, like, the the, the friends that I had were, like, the only girls that I liked. Uh, but I didn't want to mess it up with, like, a relationship or anything like that. So I just, like, and I didn't like them romantically. You know, I just wanted to. Yeah keep some uh, space with that. Um, but like going through high school and I still do have this serious mindset of just like, I just want to find someone that completes me. You know what I mean? I want to actually have a, a re relationship, a legitimate one. But looking back w while you're doing that, you're wasting so much, like you could have fun. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Is that like so sinful to say? Not even like, no, no. like I, I want to have fun. I want to date. I just want to like, fuck around and have fun i I'm didn't not even looking really for get love. to I'm finish looking. my thought i was gonna oh. say like yeah it's okay to fucking do that and have a one night stand you know do whatever you need to do to get your rocks off but <laughs> all i'm <laughs> all i'm saying is like you know yeah don't pursue a relationship with that because chances are i don't know i feel like unless you're that kind of person like you're a man ho then maybe you guys are meant for each other <laughs> but no. if you're looking for a meaningful relationship Generally, they come when you're not trying, all right? A, a meaningful relationship won't come to you if you're in the mindset of, oh, shit, I want some pussy and to up my body count. There's nothing wrong with that, though. I'm not saying you, you shouldn't do that. I don't but, know. I, I think that the other side of it, though, with, like, I want to, quote, unquote, you know, just get some pussy. You know what I mean? Like, you hurt someone else's feelings if they're in it for real. You know what I mean? You just got to find that right person that's in it to just have fun. You know what I mean? And then yeah. it's okay. Don't, then it's fine. Don't take it too seriously, bottom line. A relationship should be something beautiful, not something you should have to stress about. I I think I think everyone should break up, you know? And just do a nice okay. rearranged thing, like on a cruise ship, you know? You go with this guy, uh, she goes with that guy, you know? What do you think about that, you know? That sounds like a recipe for chaos, an iceberg just you know just floating there i don't know i mean you know just relationships i don't know it boggles my mind you know but i do agree with you what, what you were saying like just uh that's one of those things that seems like i feel like i can't get a good grasp on it in my head it seems like such a so complicated simple. subject oh it's you know? everything everything that we're going to talk about here is complicated 
most of the topics that we talk about are going to have, have some convoluted past to it. I mean, these are all very situational. I know, but at least you know? with the meaning of life, I have some kind of confidence with what I'm talking about. With relationships, I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck to even say. They're so mm-hmm. complicated, and they can go wrong in, in so many ways, and they can go right in so many ways that it's very difficult to even give advice that will be useful to a, a majority of people. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people are... You know, everybody is different. Everybody interprets relationships and love in a different way. And everybody's into a different kind of woman. So you have all these possible combinations of relationships that aren't all going to apply to the same rules. That's basically why it's so confusing to me. Because, like, you have some relationships that are beautiful, where it's like an old married couple that, you know, meet each other on Match.com and then die together 80 like, years uh, later. And yeah. then they, they break up on their deathbeds five feet apart because they're not gay. And then you have other relationships that are like... You know, it's a fucking guy who's fully tatted all the way from his neck and some slut and they just beat the fuck out of each other and yell at each other all day. But they continue to stay with each other because they're A, too drugged out of their minds, B, sleep deprived, and C, horrible people. So, and D, uh, they would rather be with each other, another shitty person, than be alone with their shitty selves. So you have a lot of, you have a big scope, a broad spectrum, if you will, of different kinds of relationships. And honestly, you should be true to yourself when looking for a relationship. Don't try to be somebody else and find somebody who really completes your faults. And I think that is the best way. I think that builds confidence. Fake it till you make it at times. I mean, obviously not with a relationship, just saying like, at times that can't be all all bad. You know what I mean? You see someone yeah. that has all their shit together and then you get your shit together by mimicking the, the emotions or the, the way that they, they talk, I guess. It's biologically accurate. I mean... It, or it's like a biological fact that if a guy has like the aura that he can pick up women, that he can maintain a relationship easier. Because then the woman has, they pick up on the feeling like, oh shit, I have competition. However, if your guy just lets himself go and he can't pick up any women, then your woman will leave you too. Because they're like, oh, I don't find him attractive. Honestly, that at this sense. point, yeah. I don't know if yeah, I worded that, that well. You, you worded it great. I can give you a high five right now. There you go. There's your high five. I don't want to mess up the clap sync, but thanks. <laughs> I, honestly, whatever relationship comes my way, I'm like down for it at the moment. You know what I mean? Like this is one of the, I don't know. I feel like I, like, I don't know if I want to say that actually, because that's not entirely true. Because then you don't want to rush into anything. You don't want to be like, well, this is a low point. You know, let me just rush into whatever relationship that comes on my door. You know, like, I don't know if that's yeah. good. Friendships. Yeah, I'm down. Hello. Want to be want to be my friend? Hi. I'm JC. Nice to meet you. I am yeah. 18. Uh I am in college right now. I'm a YouTuber and uh I have a podcast with my friend Rack here. Uh I am my my favorite hobbies include leaf blowing. Do you like leaf blowing? Are you, am I supposed to role play along with this shit? Um yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, it's a legitimate question, you know, just getting like the leaf blower, you know, just messing with the leaves a little bit. Okay, yeah, I like leaf blowing. Uh, that's lame. Wow. My point, though, my point is with with friends and everything like that, you know, I'm kind of just open with it at the moment, you know, because like everything about the relationships that I have at the moment, romantic or not, friendship or whatever it may be, um, it's just like, it's dismal at times. Get to know somebody before you date them. Well, of course, yeah. I'm I'm not I'm looking far far away. I just want, you know, just a stable group of friends again. That shit was great, dude. You know? Where are the boys? Where are they? I am looking currently around. I can't see them, you know? It's one of those things. Like I rather obviously you should, you know, you should get to know the person before you date them. That's a recipe for disaster if you don't. All right? Also, you know what yeah. is a recipe for disaster, Rack? What? You should, and I'm I'm speaking to you as well. When you are 21, you want to enjoy life. Do not get hitched. Do not get married. Do not have a kid. Though he's so cute and sweet, or she's so cute and sweet. Ah, I have a baby. Look, Jill, we just had a baby. Don't. Okay? You want to live your life, enjoy the riches. Yeah. Wait Wait until you have your fucking life together, and and you can project that your life is going to have its shit together for a very long time before you drag another human being into it. Because otherwise, it's just kind of selfish. Not only that, don't you want to spend time with your wife or like your husband, right? If, yeah. Uh, if you're a female or like, like just like enjoy the time out there with the boys, 
you know, like without having to settle down. Imagine you, you have another mouth to feed at like 20, 21. Imagine that. That sucks because your dreams and like the, the aspirations, I want to travel. I want to go there's here. there's one thing to take away from this entire podcast, it's wear protection. And break up, break up. You know, you just want to travel, enjoy, you know, like the money that you make with your girlfriend or your wife or your wife to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just, just enjoy the, the time that you have before you settle down because you won't get that back. You know, like high school sweethearts, I always remember, I like someone was talking about that, like they just got married and, and stuff like you're rushing a little bit. I don't know about that one, chief. You know, you want to enjoy yeah, dude, your life. I know people that are getting married at 18. That's like, you're going to fucking regret that, dude. You really want to like find out that you made the wrong decision and go through a divorce when you're like 19 or 20. And granted that shit does work out. How are you going to ever be able to enjoy early adulthood like a normal person? Those are some valuable years of your life. You should be spending those years on yourself, growing yourself to become a better father before you have a kid. Not with the intention of becoming a better fa- better father, but just doing that for yourself so you can at least have a better foundation for your kid. Because I think that having kids when you're young is kind of sabotaging your kid a little bit too. Unless you really know what you're doing. I, yeah, I mean, but that's, that's not common. That's usually not common by that age. Yeah. If you have a kid at 20, chances are they're going to grow up to be kind of immature. But you know what, what you need in order for that to be, you know, something that is in cement, like you can have a kid at that age. Yeah. You know what, what you know what you need for that? Yeah. You need motivation. You need discipline. True. And I want to talk True. about that for a second. Because, okay. and I've talked to you about this a lot, and that pisses me off. You know, when you come to, when you come to your friends or you come to someone that you trust with your issues multiple times, like, first of all, uh, you get that emotion and, or like that feeling like, I don't want to give them my problems. You know what I mean? I don't want to share yeah. this, this bad well, feeling. Well, that's why I, heart, I try so hard to not fucking talk about the mold shit and ha- like literally having to evacuate my own house. But it's like the, it's one of the few things that's on my mind all the time. It's hard not to, but I get what you mean. Yeah, I have that mentality like I just want to deal with this myself and I don't want to be a fucking burden by dumping that onto anybody. But you have like a bubbling inside you, like that feeling. of you. Yes, it's like a rage because it's not my fault and Mm -hmm. I want the world to know. Faults or not, you know, you're angry with yourself as well. In your case, it's not your fault. So you want to like talk to someone about it like you're you're venting. You know? Yeah, like vent, like fuck the world, fuck everything. I didn't deserve this shit. Like, yeah, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and but I'm, it especially yeah. makes me bubble up with rage every time somebody asks me to fucking upload, even though I know they're joking. I mean, I don't, I don't that take joke, it that, that seriously. That joke ran into I wouldn't, the ground. Though. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far and say it makes me bubble with rage. But um, I would say that definitely after a while, reading that so much kind of takes a toll on me, knowing that my situation makes me unable to. And that people think it's my fault, mm-hmm. but um, I digress. Uh, yeah, that, that motivation joke is, is kind of it's it's worn out now. You know what I mean? Like if it, if it's such a continuous like uh, I, rack I upload, know. not even rack upload. Just telling YouTubers that take time in in quality for their videos, um, and then you know they're just gone for like you know Soviet. You know, like yeah. I think over there it's it's a little easier for him because I don't know. It's just like more of a. Uh, I don't know what was I say for the community, but it just has a little bit more of a chill vibe. Um, the thing the thing about this is like it's just like it's run into the ground so much, especially with you rack upload. Like I've heard that so many times. There's even yeah. people that come into my own streams and they're like, "Yo, rack upload." People, yeah, <laughs> when you're and, playing with and me. the thing, the worst part of that is that it affects my friends too. People go into your streams and ask me to upload, or people go comment on McNasty's new video and ask me to upload. It's like. Mm-hmm. It's Holy weird. shit, and lay off. Yeah. Anyway, uh, to motivation. But yeah, I digress. Is, yeah. So I, I come to you with this, and like it sucks because I have that in the back of my mind, and again, like venting and so on and so Not forth. Not wanting to dump it onto me. It motivation. I, I hate this so much, my boy. Like this, this actually makes me angry. Because this is what separates you from the masses. This is what separates you from the people on the street. Are you just going to be another mm. face on the sidewalk? Motivation and willpower go hand in hand to actually get you what you want. We talked about dreams before. And dreaming is nice. Being a dreamer is fantastic. Pure imagination. I love that. That song is also great. Rest in peace, Gene Wilder. 
But biggest thing for me is like living a dream is what all what we all want to do. But we're mostly dreamers. We're not doers. We don't do it. The, the gap between thinking about what you want to do and what you want to achieve versus actually going and doing it is what crosses everyone up. This is the thing that sets people behind and makes people who they want to be. So like talking about like little tricks and tips, how to get the motivation and willpower to do something. You know what I mean? Overcoming laziness, doing this, doing that, all bubbling up into this this horrible concoction of bad emotions and bad feelings about what you're doing. It takes a mental toll mm. on you. It's rough because the gravity of the situation. Imagine like you have all the the, the possible uh, opportunities at your doorstep for you to be great, for you to be like someone that that you saw a long time ago as a kid, looking starry, like looking with with uh, stars in your eyes at the sky. You know what I mean? You're 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 thinking of something that in the future you can attain. You can become that sky. Yeah. You could you could become something that you never thought that you, that was just a dream, but then everything that we we think and feel gets in the way, and that may seem like an excuse. But I have been in a in a constant state a year a year of this hell stuck in in my mind. It's rough, and like the environment where you are, you know, like everything pushes forward that one mentality of that grapple. That, that fight to get out what you want to do. You start double thinking, yeah. is this what I want to do? If, if it's so, if this is my dream, you know, like, oh, you know, why am I not doing it? You know, you get these, these thoughts and your emotions. It's just a, a shit storm of all these things, but you can't stop. You can't stop because if you stop, you lose. Because if you stop, you fade into ambiguity. If you stop, you fade into the sidewalk. So I want to ask you, Rack, how do you get past it? How do you how do you push yourself? And you have to push yourself. You have to go through hell to get to heaven, literally, because there's nothing. Like, it, it all comes down to hard work. Obviously, we know the answers. We all deep down know the answers, but doing it, actually taking that step from a thinker to a doer, it kills people, dude. Yeah, it kills people. I feel I feel pretty shitty about my current situation because I feel like it against my will, against any power I have over it, it separates me from the people that are successful. And uh, I guess what keeps me going in in these times is the feeling that even though it's shitty and it, it hurts a lot to try to put on a fake smile through all the pain, through all the bullshit. Oh, I don't. And most people don't, you know? Like, yeah, you know, but it's just, it's when, just you, like, when you're... Just dismal. when you when you're a content creator, not even content. No, 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 Rick. This is this is generalized. Not not this, we're, with we're us. just talking. We're just talking about like people in general. Yeah, okay, whatever what keeps, you want to do. What keeps me going through the bullshit is the feeling that if I gave up, I would just feel worse. So I might as well keep trying, no matter how fucking shitty it gets. That's all. Because as guy. long as I have the feeling like I'm trying, you know, I can at least find solace in that. You know, and even if people want to shit on me because I'm not trying hard enough or my me trying my best isn't good enough I at least still know that I have the motivation mm -hmm. I don't know it, it's something that not only like just just rising up from like the just being unique just being someone that that is someone that you could be happy at you know you look in the mirror and you smile not because you look good not because you think that your 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 mind is where it should be but because you're truly happy with where you are in the present. That's the the feeling that I think everyone just wants, you know? Yeah. Constantly worrying about the future. I haven't felt that in like a year. I haven't felt that in so long. Like, I don't... Not to like one-up you or anything like that, but it's such a... <laughs> yeah, no. I yeah, it. my depression's way worse than Vietnam. It's not no. even depression. It's just the feeling that you're not where you want to fucking be and there's nothing you can do about it. This, in my case, at least. It's hurt. Well, I mean, people have been depressed in your state. And I was just messing around with the depression thing. But people can fall into this. This cloudy, because it turns into this, it, it turns into this. I don't know about your situation, because I think that people would be depressed and that they're unable to work. Their lungs are, you know, not functioning properly due to mold. You know, you can't speak properly. I think a lot of people would probably find themselves depressed in that kind of a situation. Well, a lot more. I wouldn't say like depressed, depressed, but there's so many variations. Go, go on. My apologies. I forgot. I'm high. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are high. Um, what I was saying is like, 
just solely with with depression and such it becomes you it's like a fog like it's it's such yeah. a foggy like your your mind slows down your body slows down you stop doing things that you used to do i mean that may be depression that's one of the symptoms i th- I, I think but like that's that's what people think you know that, that that's what people like go through when they're they're chasing something like this because it's such a it's easier for some people it, it's not easy for others right and and thinking uh, double double thinking about what you're you're actually doing whether it be correct or or not like those thoughts push you into this fog you know you don't know where to step you don't know where to go and uh just what you do is very half ass all around your environment also pushes forward this this idea and again i'm not talking just solely about depression or just like feeling down i'm talking about the fight to be more i think that's the most important thing we can all you know just take from this because we all want to be better I would imagine some people are, you know, okay to just sit on their sofa and eat pizza until they die or something like that. Some That's people fine. don't give a shit. Yeah, some people don't give a shit. But most, most of us people would aren't going to be, be more. remembered after they die. Nobody's going to remember them. Well, Which, that's your it's meaning. Not a, it's not about. It's not about whether or not people remember you when you die. Uh, well, to me, I've you've already fucking heard me go off in the first episode about legacy. So I, I think, think it is kind know. of important. I think it yeah. is kind of important. To well, it is you, important, yeah. You should, I mean, okay, you don't know what the fuck, you don't know where the fuck you are. You're a fucking human being on planet Earth. When a baby is first born, they have no fucking idea what the hell is going on, right? <laughs> We're going back to this. They kind of, they, <laughs> they kind of just figure it out as they yeah. go, and 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 inevitably they, they turn out to be a human being, just like everybody else. Wow. And they have this implicit understanding of what the world is, what the rules of the world are. And what they need to do to survive in that world. And I'm high, I forgot. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn. So close. You went for it. Now you're just uh, stating again with the, the legacy thing, which is important, you know, which I we all understand that's extremely Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what that's I was going to say. Yeah. Go for is, it. I forgot again. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I'm not even bullshitting. You're not even bullish. That was not even a joke. Oh, my God. Your mind is just, oh. Just messed up. I had um, it for a sec. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the motivation topic for right now because it's just, you know, end it on a nice note. Keep going. You know, be more. Enjoy what you have. And oh, we're gonna talk about this next, but it ties in with what mm-hmm. uh, what what I'm actually finishing off for topics uh, or th- th- this topic with uh, motivation. Regret is one of the worst fucking emotions out there. I hate this emotion. Dude, I, I, I can't oh, sleep yeah. sometimes because of it. It it serves no purpose. It doesn't even to, help you. Well, it helps except, in one, per, one way. Well, it does. To learn a lesson. It helps. That's it. It makes that. you strive to never feel it again. Yeah. Which can be positive. But you could drown but in that if you have you like an You can't let it eat you up, though. Yeah. That's what usually happens, though. That's what the emotion does. You know, you're, you're just sitting in your bed 3 a.m. looking at memes, and then you just get hit by like a high school flashback or some shit. You know what I mean? It serves no purpose. And when you're going with something so so critical with the topic of motivation and willpower for whatever big goals or big aspirations that you find yourself grasping for, that regret seeps into your mind. I failed last time. You know, I don't want to fail again. And you get so caught up in that that thought process that you instead of acting, you know, acting on that, that emotion, you you think that you're moving so slow you get stuck in that that thought bubble. It's just a never ending thinking about like, I got to do something or else, you know, I'm going to feel this, but you can't do anything because you're feeling regret. You know what I mean? It's just, it's yeah. just, it's like fog, dude. You can't get through it sometimes, you know? I like would it, say r- the fear of regret is a big motivator for me because I know I have the implicit understanding in my head that if I do give up when times get tough, that I'm just going to regret giving up. You know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I you, think you got to keep is going, a big motivating, because you're gonna feel yeah. like because then you f- you sink, basically. You know, you can't yeah. give up. You have you have to keep going no matter what happens, because at least you tried, as you were saying. You know, you know that you tried. You know, yeah, I know that I tried. So and even so if forth, you get you know. hit by a car a day before you graduate and get your fucking bachelor's degree, you know, it's fine. You tried. You tried. That's all there Natural is. Natural selection, it. buddy. He was going 80 in a school zone. 
<laughs> no, I, I mean, finishing the, the topic of motivation before we move on to anything else. Um, I think that a lot of people should shoot for the stars. I think that that's a big thing. You know, they'll guide you. They'll guide you to where you want to be. You know, there was something with, with my whole identity. I think I, to- I told Rack about this. I'm a very, I'm a very, very, um, I like themes. I like uh, putting emphasis on things to, what, what is the word? I, it, it slips my mind. Not alliterate. What Alliteration? Why is that in my mind? What's that word? When, uh. Articulate? No. It's when like a, a, a an author, a director, like themes that are put in that have double meanings. Oh, a motif. No, nah, not that. Hmm. Uh, Fuck! I just have like the biggest brain. How, how right there. is it? How is it not motif? That sounds well, exactly it is, like it's a motif. kind of motif, but there's just the general word for it that's a little bit more like. Uh, Fuck! I actually forgot it completely. God damn it! My mind is a blank. I'm not even high, dude. I'm sober. I don't know. What, I think uh, you're getting a second hand high through my <laughs> mic. Shit, dog. Yeah, what kind of card do you have on the table there? What? Cards. We're playing cards. Remember? Are you so high oh, yeah. you forgot? Uh, go fish. <laughs> Anyway, without the word by my side, um, I like to put meaning behind stuff. There's many things. There's, there's so many avenues that you know life gives us. You know, that's the the cool thing about it. You fail something, you just go on to do a different thing, a different formula. You know, I think that I think that everything will guide us. You know, if you look up and see what you you put into those uh, little lights in the sky, if you will. I don't know. That's my meaning. Well. You heard it here first, folks. Look up at the stars anytime your life seems fragmented. I think that's one of the best advices that I could give, actually. Yeehaw, partner. Yeehaw. What do you think about what do you think about Texas, dude? Let's just talk about the whole state of Texas for a second. Okay. Yeah. Texas? Yeah. I've never been to Texas. I think Texas before. is pretty stupid. I think if you live in Texas, you should stop watching and unsubscribe. Oh, I don't like you. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Rack. Rack. Yeah. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to the Homie Talk podcast. Um, we're not on Spotify yet. We'll be on Spotify soon. Thankfully. Hopefully. Thank God we spare Spotify of 25. <laughs> 25. We'll be up there. Um, we'll be up there after we have five episodes because a lot of people were asking us to put it on Spotify. But um, I think you need five episodes, right? Isn't that the fucking nah, you need threshold 30. or whatever? Let's so. get working, bro. Okay. Um, well, then, in that case, we'll see you on episode 30 on Spotify. Uh, but until then, we <laughs> no, have, obviously, uh, YouTube, YouTube and, and SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud. And and Twitter. The The podcast isn't playable on Twitter, but our Twitter Daily links Motion. to places where you can Daily watch Daily Motion, it. go there. Not on, no, it's not it on, Daily, on Daily Motion. Motion. Actually, I'm pretty sure. It's not on Daily. Daily Motion. Yo, can we pirate? I think it is. Can we pirate our own stream? Hold on. Let me try if I could. Let me see if I can do this. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, give that a give yeah, a little try. whirl. Okay, no, it didn't work. You have to, you have to go on YouTube and SoundCloud. That's what I'm just trying to put down. Yeah, here. well, clearly you're not touching the stars. Hey, sh- I don't bring that ever ever close to me again. What the fuck? I I told you that in confidence. Okay, I told you all, that all in confidence. You told it on a public podcast. What the <laughs> fuck did I actually about? really? Fuck yeah. Oh man, did you think that you were just talking to me that whole time? Uh, thank you so much for watching the Homie Talk podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, is this where we end? Okay. I I, I guess. don't know. I I'd still got I've some been cards raccoon in my eggs. Head. Oh, I'm JC the caster. Um, and from 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 what I'm about to say, I think we both mean this. Uh, have a great day, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the podcast episode. Take care. Till next time, guys. Till next time. Goodbye.